almost a decade ago here in Maryland, we were in tough shape regarding cancers. We were the third leading state for cancer deaths. It's terrible. There were disparities in cancer outcomes between wealthy Marylanders, poor Marylanders, between Caucasian Marylanders, African Americans. It was just not a, not a happy situation. But our state invested tobacco settlement funds into solving this problem, both through a public health approach, increasing education and screening, and through promoting research here at Johns Hopkins and at the University of Maryland. And the amazing thing, almost a decade later, is this has really started to pay off. Uh, we're now down 19th on this terrible list of the worst states in America for cancer death. And I hope we're headed all the way down to 50th. Uh, we have really turned the corner at beginning to eliminate disparities in cancer outcomes so that uh, Marylanders who don't have as much means, who are uninsured, these programs have specifically targeted these folks, and they're beginning to see benefits as well. The research side, of course, is the most exciting uh, part of this because that's what's going to ensure the long-term success of this war against cancer in our state. Uh, research that's been supported here at the Sidney Kimmel Comprehensive Cancer Center has targeted our best scientists with the best ideas of new treatments, new ways to detect, diagnose, and prevent cancer, uh, and it's targeting them at this fragile beginning of their careers. Now, of course, they've attracted funding from elsewhere, but this state investment was so important at getting them going. And uh, I think we've got cancer finally in Maryland on the run a bit, and I think if we have a sustained commitment to getting rid of cancer as a threat to uh, people in our state, the citizens of our state, that we'll pull this off in at least the next decade.